Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, this this video is going to be weird. It's going to be strange and somewhat hypocritical on my end, right? Um, you know, some people hop on my channel. First thing they notice is, hey, I'm a big guy. I'm not healthy. I'm a thick boy. And uh, I've got that all my life. I've, I've been a thick boy all my life. Uh, you know, it sucks. It sucks. I, I, I would blame genetics, but I can't because I'm the one that can't stop putting things in my mouth. Um, but ultimately, it's my fault, right? I, I'm the one that should have been able to stop what I'm doing, uh, exercising, stop putting carbs in my mouth hole and eating cake and drinking soda and all this other stuff. Uh, it's not good for me, right? It's not good for me. There, there's something that's going, uh, it's been going on for a few years now. It's this uh, body acceptance movement. Now, before we get started here, I'm not going to sit here and say that you shouldn't uh, hate the way you look. Um, you shouldn't be forced to look a certain way, and you shouldn't be ashamed. But I do want to talk about why this actual movement is kind of dangerous. Now, when you're a big guy, when you're a big guy like me, uh, the health factors range from heart problems, blood pressure, diet. Diabetes, cholesterol, uh, different mental issues, depression, anxiety, uh, neuropathy, sleep apnea, you name it. It's something that's there. It's not fun. It's not fun. Uh, you Or you'll be one of those guys that's got to take an insulin shot every, every day or every week or take tons of medications. Like you have bags full of medications. And things start hurting all the time. Uh, your back hurts. Your muscles hurt. You can't sleep. Uh, you know, you can't fit in your clothes. And it just sucks. It just sucks really bad. Now, you know, I've tried remedying these things before, right? Uh, you know, I've been on diets. I went on exercises. And I usually fail most of the time. And this is why this video is so uh, somewhat hypocritical of me. Because I'm not good at following my own advice. But anyways, um, I got weight loss surgery uh, a couple years ago. Got the uh, gastric sleeve. Uh, you know, I waited for years to get this. And I was almost 400 pounds. It was like three, almost 390, I believe. That's how I show it. And right now I weigh 308. Uh, I haven't checked the scale. I, I think I'm, you know, I've been losing weight. And I'm kind of plateauing a little bit. Um, I feel like I'm staying the same weight, but that also means I've not been doing my part and not by not eating shit. Uh, <laughs> stop eating bad stuff, by the way. Um, I, I was very successful. I got out of my 300s. I, I think the lightest I got was 298, which was awesome. Almost a hundred pounds off. Um, you know, I felt really good. I felt really good. I was wearing clothes. Uh, I bought jeans for the first time in years because I was afraid to wear jeans because I was afraid to go to some store and try on jeans only for them to not fit and just being embarrassed. And I was wearing gym shorts and long t-shirts and uh, flip flops everywhere I went. Like it, it was a, it was not not good. It's not not a good look. It was a pretty bad look actually. And I was, you know, just I didn't care. I didn't care about my body. I was. Just, yeah. But anyways, you know, one of the things they don't tell you, and they they should tell you, is that um, bad habits usually come back. And in my case, I was too weak-willed, and I just started eating junk again. Started eating those cakes, those Debbie cakes, the fried foods. I still do that today, the pizza, all that stuff. It's not good for me, right? It's not. Um, the only thing it's doing is a, making my diabetes worse, making my heart problems worse, and making me fat. Uh, er, fat er. Um, you know, I, I've been watching. Uh, there, there's this thing that's called um, mukbang. I actually did a video about it. And these people sit there and eat tons of food. A uh, good example is that avocado. Avocado. Oh my god. A tongue tie, and uh, the the other one was a big fat chick. It that was her name, I think. I'm not calling her big fat chick. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was her name uh, on the channel. 
Um, I'm not going to throw shade at you, but, um, you know, they're eating and they look so unhealthy. And uh, then you see these shows like 600 pound or uh, the two two girls that are like a thousand pounds. And uh, it's disgusting. It's, it's gross. And people are trying to normalize it. You see people on TikTok and social media saying, oh, fat being fat's OK. Being fat's just fine. And I'm here to tell you it's not. It's not fine. It's not good. It's not good for you. Um, and this is another part where I'm being totally hypocritical because the thing is I can say that, hey, it's not good for me, but, man, I sure do love hamburgers. Um, and that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. And, you know, I'm willing to recognize that. And I try to fix the problem, but I continue going down that same route. Um, you know, fast food is easy, easy to get, uh, candy is easy to get. You go to the grocery store, say you want to get some salads and stuff. You're like, man, I want to eat fine. I want to go get some chicken, some salads, some vegetables. Uh, I'm going to not drink soda. Actually, I'm just going to drink diet soda. And anyways, you pull up, you get up to the cash register. There's a whole big thing of like, M&M's, candies, uh, energy drinks, and then you go outside by Walmart and there's McDonald's and you, you're you hungry and you're like, man, I want a pizza. And you just call DoorDash, they order, your, you get your pizza, send it to your house. Um, and all the food's bad for you. It's all bad for you. But it's good. It's really good. I, I'm not going to lie and tell you that eating bad stuff is completely bad because, let's just face it, I love food. You love food. We like good food. We do. We do. Food is uh, it's embedded, embedded, <laughs> embedded. Uh, it's embedded in our DNA, along with the sugar. <laughs> embedded. Oh my. Oh my. I, I was I was debating if I should make this video, and I was like, wait a minute. Uh, they're they're going to be like, well, you're fat. I know I am. I'm huge. I'm a big guy. Um, but it's not good for you guys. It's not like, and you know, even if you try to do diets and exercises and you're willing to accept that, hey, this is not good, that's at least a step forward. At least you're trying. At least you acknowledge the issue. Um, you know, in my case, I don't want, I don't want to die early. Uh, there was a time in my life where I didn't care to die or I was embracing death. I was like, I don't care. I don't care if I die or not. I don't care. Let me eat this cake. I don't care what happens to me. Let me have a heart attack. Let me have a stroke. Let, let's let's see what happens. Let my feet fall off. Um, let my teeth rot out. Let my eyesight go bad. Whatever goes with it. Uh, I was in a hospital. I had a heart cath at the age of uh, 30, 31, maybe. I was in my beginning of my 30s, had a heart calf. Uh, that was fun. Uh, I had a kidney failure. That was fun. Uh, the way the reason why I had kidney failures because, you know, I started, I had, I got diabetes, type 2 diabetes. They put me on metformin. Well, metformin didn't like me and I didn't like metformin, so metformin decided to give me kidney failure which they took me off of metformin. Uh, I thought I was going to die. It was crazy because my brother, uh, he ran me to the hospital because I could barely stand. And uh, the old this old doctor, like, I don't remember what. Oh, I was kind of out of it. He was like, said you're going to die or something like that. And I was freaking out. I was like, holy shit, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And I was so freaked out. But um, you know, they end up admitting me, uh, and that took care of things. Uh, and I stopped doing that. I stopped doing that foreman. And, you know, a couple of years later, that's when I had the, uh, gastric sleep done. And, you know, for the most part, for the most part, uh, it's been kind of successful. I mean, it did take the weight off. I'm still big. I'm still over 300 pounds. Um, you know, I, I am, it's, it's bad. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not good. It's not good. It's not safe. It's not. So, you know, if these influencers, these big influencers are telling you, hey, it's okay to be fat, uh, keep eating what you're doing, keep doing it. Uh, I'm just going to tell you, hey, uh, look at me. 
look at me. No, no. Uh, you know, if I need to hold up my diabetes medicine, if I had my, just a while ago, hold up all the pills. Um, you know, if I need to bring up my medical chart and show you, uh, maybe you should take take care of yourself a little bit uh, so this shit doesn't happen. And some of you guys know this. And, you know, it's the funny thing is, you know, I I get a lot of people on here like trolls. They get on there like, oh, you're fat, fatty, fat, fatterson. You know, uh, even Chili said, uh, why can't you control what you put in your mouth? They're right. They're right. I'm not going to lie. They're right. <laughs> it's not positive reinforcement, but it kind of is. If you think about it, it makes you well aware of it. And let me tell you, like whenever I was doing the boxing thing and going to the gym every day, I felt really good. I felt really good. Then, you know, I dropped out of it. Like I always do. I never commit. Never commit. Never commit. And that's a problem. That's a problem that a lot of us have. We, you know, we start the new year, uh, New Year's Eve. We're like, let's start. We're going to have a new body, a new life, be healthier. And usually within 24 hours, you're back doing the same thing. Drinking your drinking your beers and your cakes and all that stuff. Going to... Uh, restaurants, going to McDonald's in the morning, <laughs> go three, go there three times a day. Um, and, you know, it doesn't help that people are trying to justify it. And I know we're supposed to be in this new woke culture where we shouldn't make fun of anybody and we shouldn't spot out the bad in certain things. Like, we're afraid to hurt each other's feelings. And, uh, let me tell you, it's terrible. It's terrible to be called fat all the time. It's it's terrible to for people to say, "Hey, uh why don't you lose weight, you fat fucking guy, you stupid bastard?" <laughs> you know, right? Right? It, it's it's bad. It's bad. And I I don't think I don't think these influencers truly understand the gravity of the situation and they strive for people like having people not calling them out or saying it's unhealthy they automatically think that's an attack when some people are just generally like they don't want you to die early they want you to be healthy they want you to stay around but now people are making it offensive and turning it into a movement which doesn't need to exist let's just go ahead and face it the fat body positivity movement should not exist. It shouldn't. It really shouldn't exist. It really shouldn't. The same thing if you're bulimic, if you have an eating disorder where you can't eat and you're losing tons of weight, that shouldn't be uh, justified or, you know, people should people should be pissed off about that. They should know better. They know, they should know better. And I know I'm stuttering. I do this a lot. Um, but it's really heated me up because I don't, like to see these people die. I don't want to die early. Like I've known people in my life that's died of complications because they didn't take care of themselves. Um, you say it, my mom, she's got diabetes. Um, it's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, my dad has diet. Well, I don't know about him. My real dad. I don't know. He's alcoholic, but that's a different story. We'll talk about that some other time. But I, I don't know, guys. Like, I, I just think if you hop online and you see these people trying to justify um, being 600 pounds, then those people aren't right at all. And me being over 300 pounds, sitting here telling you something, maybe you should listen to it just a little bit. Uh, like I said, I, don't, I, I know for a fact but you guys don't get up early in the morning looking forward to stabbing yourself in the stomach with a needle. I'm sure you don't want to do that. I'm sure you don't look forward to it unless you're some kind of fucking masochist. But that's the crazy thing about this. It's like, it's not healthy. It's not safe. It's not. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try not to fuck up. But I'm going to do my best to hopefully stop this. Maybe, maybe uh, this time next year, maybe I'll be skinnier. Maybe I'll be much healthier. But you know, I, I know the problem that I have to, I have to uh, tackle. I, and I have to tackle it myself. I can't rely on anybody else. And I'm not going to allow some influencer to tell me that, hey, 
stay the stay the size you are. Just be happy. Cause I'm not happy. I'm miserable. I am miserable. I take two handfuls of pills every day. <laughs> I, you know, the depression stuff. It's awful. And you know, I, I you always have that thing like this feeling like everybody's staring at you and they're like, oh, how much pizza are you gonna eat, fatty? Even though, even though I can, I can't eat like I used to. I can't. I really can't. I can't eat a lot of food. But I eat junk. Eat junk, sugar, sugar, carbs, everything that I should not eat. I'm eating and I'm not exercising. And a lot of us are doing the same way. That's why 43% or something like that of the United States is considered obese. That's why you see other countries making fun of America because we have we pump our veins full of gravy and we have a cheesecake in one hand and a light beer in the other hand. And then we have we're sitting on a scooter going through Walmart. It's 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 fucking terrible. It is. It's it's a horrible life. Uh, don't do it. if you come across this video and you're like. Oh, what's this fat guy going to tell me? I'm telling you, you don't want to be fat. You don't want to. You don't want to. You can still be healthy and fat. And that's true. You you can be. You you can start losing weight. Stop eating all the junk. Stop doing all this stuff. Going to exercise and taking a walk. You might still be a big person, but at least you're doing something. Unlike me, I'm not doing shit. I go to work, come home, go to sleep, play video games, eat some cake. I'm not cake. I mean, you know, I eat shit, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't get in front of a camera doing the mukbang and say, hey, I'm totally happy And when you weigh 600 pounds. You're not happy if you're at this size. You're really not. You can pretend, but like I said, nobody looks forward to waking up every morning and putting a needle in their stomach. They really don't. And if you do, there's a problem. There's a problem. So the fat acceptance stuff has to stop. It really does. That doesn't mean hate fat people. That's it doesn't mean like make fun of them. That just means, hey, maybe you should tell your fat friend to stop shoving these fucking face full of food. Don't die. That should be the thing you say. It's like, hey, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Walk up to your friend. Walk up to me and be like, hey, I like you a lot. You you mean a lot to me. I, I wish you can stay with me for a long time. Can you please try to get healthy? Will you, will you put that sugary drink, put it away? Will you stop eating that cake? Will you stop eating that fried food? Will you go walking with me? Will you do this? Will you do that? Just, I want you to stay around. I want you to be able to meet my kids and grow up with them. I want you to have a long life with your wife. I want you to have all these great experiences, but if you keep on going down the road you're going, you're going to die early. And you're going to be miserable. You're going to be in a lot of pain that you shouldn't have to be. Some some of the stuff is already, re, like, it's irreversible. Like, the damage has been done for most of the part, but you can alleviate some of these things. Um, there, there's a reason why the doctor tells you, hey, why don't you lose some weight? He's not telling you that because he fucking hates you and hopes you cry when you get into your car. He's generally caring for you. I hope. I hope that's what the doctor wants. That's what I expect. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here. If you're overweight, guys, if you're overweight, I'm not here to hate on you because I'm overweight myself. The message is, is we got to do better. We got, we got to do better. We can't. We can't allow this fat acceptance movement to, like, get any ground. It shouldn't be. It's not. It's it's not a race thing. It's not. It's it's just because you're woke doesn't mean you have to justify every single movement. You don't. You really don't. So you know, I'm going to try to fix myself. I may fail a lot, but at least I'm willing to admit that. Hey, I'm on an unhealthy level. I'm not doing good. I'm fat. I'm a thick boy. But I love you guys very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.